everything you need to know about raids on Minecraft. Hey guys, welcome back to Mind Flood, and today we'll be taking a look at everything you need to know about raids that has been on Minecraft since the 1.14 update. Stay tuned and watch the video right until the end. Bad Omen. Raids can only be started if the player has a bad omen. These effects are earned after a player kills the illegal captain, who can be identified as the mob with an ominous banner on his head. Upon killing the mob, the bad omen effect will be immediately applied and can be used to trigger a raid once a nearby village. In Java Edition, the bad omen can be stacked depending on how many captains a player has killed. Having a bad omen effect higher than level 1 can increase the chance of raiders having enchanted weapons. Triggering the raid There are two ways that a player can trigger a raid. The more straightforward approach to starting the onslaught is to find a village. Once a player enters the 3x3x3 subchunk region around the center of the village, the bad omen effect will be cashed in for the raid. The alternate option takes a bit more manual labor, but it's for players who want to trigger a raid outside of a village. If players are able to get a villager out of the village, then give them a bed, a raid can be triggered if a player within 8 chunks of its bad omen effect. How it starts Once a raid begins, certain parameters are determined by the game concerning how the raid will function. Firstly, the center of the raid will be based on the player's location upon triggering the raid. The average of all village points of interest within a 64 block radius of the player will establish the center. A boss meter will then appear at the top of the screen that will show either enemy health, java, or number of enemies bedrock. If in a village, a villager will run up the bell and ring in warn to fellow vigils why the boss bar is loading. Raid enemies. The raid enemies face will depend on the difficulty. All difficulties will have players facing pillagers, vindicators, and ravagers. Pillagers are armed with crossbows while vindicators charge players with iron axes. A ravager is a large bovine that has a ton of health and strength. Mobs in larger parts of the raids include witches. A long-standing hostile mob in the game is known for its position wielding. Evokers can also spawn, which can attack things from the ground or spawn small. Flying Vexes. The enemy count goes up with each difficulty level. Each wave. Just as the composition of the waves changes per difficulty, so does the number of waves per raid. There are three waves on easy, five on normal, and seven on hard. While exact composition varies per Minecraft version, Wave 1 tends to start with pillagers and then add to the armies with each subsequent wave. By Wave 7, not only does every mob listed above have a chance of showing up, but some pillagers may be riding on ravagers as they charge at the player. In Java, the bad omen level is also a factor in determining how powerful the villagers will be. Potential Loot The loot gained in the battle of successful is dependent on which version of Minecraft is being played. Java Edition players will get the usual set of drops they would from these enemies, which include arrow and crossbow drops from the pillagers, a potential iron axe drop from the vindicator, and the total of them undying from the evoker. However, Bedrock Edition has these mob drops this loot, plus more. In this version, raiders could drop a ton of emeralds, an enchanted book, iron tools, and iron armor. Percentages vary per item. The villagers. While a player is dealing with this raid, the villagers are too scared to do any fighting on their own. Instead, they all huddle in their houses hoping the players can fend off the danger. As noted earlier, villagers will begin to scatter into homes during the raid boss bar charging up. They will also emit sweat particles as they wait for the raid to end or for themselves to be killed. If the player is successful, the villagers will come out of their house and celebrate while also setting off firework rockets. Possible Endings While there are plenty of ways the raid could reach its end, it often concludes in one of two ways. The player will fail to succeed in a raid when all villagers in the area are dead and claimed beds are destroyed. The bar will display a defeat message with all the hostile mods participating will produce celebration noises. However, if the player is successful in taking down the waves of mobs, villagers will come out and celebrate while also giving the player a Hero of the Village effect. The raid boss bar will display a victory message. Hero of the Village Like Bad Omen, the Hero of the Village effect is a status effect that can only be assigned upon killing a mob. In this case, killing the last remaining mob in a raid gives a player this effect. With it, players will have a bunch of gifts thrown at them by villagers who are happy about being saved. In addition, villagers with the ability to trade with the player will provide discounts. In Java Edition, the discounts will vary depending on how stacked the Hero of the Village effect is. This is determined by how high the Bad Omen level was going into the raid. Achievements Players love getting some sort of marker indicating that they completed an element of a game. In each version of Minecraft, there's a list of achievements, Bedrock Edition and Advancement Java Edition, that players can earn when it comes to raids. Achievements include feeling ill, killing an evoker, kill the beast, killing a ravager, or being attacked to trigger a raid, and sound the alarm, ring the bell when a hostile mob nearby a village. Advancements include voluntary exile and hero of the village. Thanks for watching. 